Hello my friends, how are you this week? Did you see the snow? It's getting cold and wet, isn't it? But we are warm inside and I want to read us another story. You probably know this book already in German, but we're going to read it in English. And because you already know the story, you'll be able to follow along and learn some English words along the way. It's called The Smartest Giant in Town by Julia Donaldson and Axel Schaeffer. But first, what do we do before we read books? That's right. Put on your reading glasses. And open your book and close. Open your book. It's a snake. Shut that book. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's a purple dinosaur! Shut the book! <laughs> These are my glasses. This is my book. I put on my glasses and open up my book. Now I read, read, read and I look, look, look. I put down my glasses and whoop, close up my book. <laughs> the smartest giant in town. There he is. George was a giant, the scruffiest giant in town. He always wore the same pair of old brown sandals and the same old patched up gown. See the patches? I wish I wasn't the scruffiest giant in town, he said sadly. Look, these are the other giants. They're quite smartly dressed, but not George. But one day, George noticed a new shop. It was full of smart clothes. So he bought a smart shirt, a smart pair of trousers, a smart belt, a smart stripy tie, some smart socks with diamonds up the sides, and a pair of smart shiny shoes. Now I'm the smartest giant in town, he said proudly. George left his old clothes behind in the shop. He was about to go home when he heard a sound. On the pavement stood a giraffe who was sniffing sadly. <laughs> What's the matter? asked George. Uh, it's my neck, said the giraffe. It's so very long and so very cold. I wish I had a long, warm scarf. Cheer up, said George. And he took off his stripy tie. It didn't match my socks anyway, he said. And he wound it round and round the giant's, the giraffe's neck. It made a wonderful scarf. <gasps> Thank you, said the giraffe. As George strode towards home, he sang to himself. My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe, but look at me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. There he goes. He is quite smart, isn't he? The giants and the normal humans. Or people. <laughs> Not all humans. George came to a river. On a boat stood a goat who was bleating loudly. Meh, meh. What's the matter? asked George. Oh, it's my sail, said the goat. 
It blew away in a storm. I wish I'd a, I had a strong new sail for my boat. <laughs> Cheer up, said George. And he took off his new white shirt. It kept coming untucked anyway, he said, as he tied it to the mast of the goat's boat. It made a magnificent sail. Thank you, <laughs> said the goat. George strode on, singing to himself. My tie is a scarf or a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. But look at me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. George came to a tiny, ruined house. Beside the house stood a white mouse with lots of baby mice. They were all squeaking. What's the matter? asked George. Oh, it's our house, squeaked the mother mouse. It burnt down and now we have nowhere to live. I wish we had a nice new house. Oh, poor little mice. Cheer up, said George. And he took off one of his shiny shoes. It was giving me blisters anyway, he said. As the mouse and her babies scrambled inside, the shoe made a perfect home for them. Thank you, they squeaked. George had to hop along the road now, but he didn't mind. As he hopped, he sang to himself, My tie is a scarf or a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. But look at me up and down, I'm the smartest giant in town. Off he goes, hopping away. And his singing must be loud, because he's a giant. George came to a campsite. Beside a tent stood a fox, who was crying. What's the matter? asked George. It's my sleeping bag said the fox. I dropped it in a puddle. I wish I had a warm, dry sleeping bag. Oh. Cheer up, said George. And he took off one of his socks with the diamonds up the side. It was tickling my toes anyway, he said, as the fox snuggled into it. It made a very fine sleeping bag. Oh, thank you, said the fox. George hopped on singing to himself. My tie is a scarf or a cold giraffe. My shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. But look at me up and down. I'm the smartest giant in town. <laughs> George came to a big squelchy bog. Beside the bog stood a dog who was howling. What's the matter? asked George. <gasps> oh, it's the bog, said the dog. I need to get across, but I can't. Getting, I keep getting stuck in the mud. I wish there was a safe, dry path. There he is, getting stuck in the mud. Poor doggy. Cheer up, said George. And he took off his smart new belt. It was squashing my tummy anyway, he said, as he laid it down over the bog. It made an excellent path. Thank you, said the dog. The wind started to blow, but George didn't mind. He hopped on, singing to himself. 
My tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. My shirt is a boat f as a sail for a goat. My shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of my socks is a bed for a fox. My belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog. But... <laughs> my trousers are falling down. I'm the coldest giant in town. Oh, suddenly George felt sad and shivery and not at all smart. He stood on one foot and thought, I have to go back to the shop and buy more clothes, he decided. He turned round and hopped all the way back to the shop. But when he got there, it was closed. Oh no, cried George. He sank down onto the doorstep and a tear ran down his nose. He felt as sad as all the animals he had met on his way home. Then, out of the corner of his eye, he saw a bag with something familiar poking out of the top and George took a closer look. <gasps> my gown, he yelled, my dear old gown and sandals. George put them on. They felt wonderfully comfortable. I'm the cosiest giant in town, he cried and he danced back home along the road. Outside his front door, all the animals he had helped, they were carrying an enormous present. Come on, George, they said, open it. George untied the ribbon and inside was a beautiful gold paper crown and a card. Look inside the card, George, said the animals. George put the crown on his head and opened the card. Inside, it said, Your tie is a scarf for a cold giraffe. Your shirt's on a boat as a sail for a goat. Your shoe is a house for a little white mouse. One of your socks is a bed for a fox. Your belt helped a dog who was crossing a bog. So here is a very fine crown to go with the sandals and gown of the kindest giant in town. Oh, isn't that wonderful? He's not the smartest giant. That doesn't matter. He's the kindest giant because he helped all those animals from the goodness of his heart. The end. Oh, I like that book. That's one of my favourites. So, my friends, time for me to say goodbye until next time. Be well, stay healthy and big kiss. <laughs>